If you hood educated, I'm glad you made it. Allow me to unfold my knowledge, wisdom, and understanding from a hood brother's point of view to all of you here, there, and everywhere. Now check me out. Brother Love, Puff Daddy, P. Diddy, run the city, right? Has came out and denied all allegations, all of them. However, the hood educated lie detector test has determined you a lie and you a low down, dirty, rotten piece. Y'all finish. Now, a lot of you might say, hey, hood educated, hold on, man. You know, we innocent until proven guilty. How you going to call that man a lie like that because this woman done came out and said all this bad stuff about him? Let me explain to y'all why. Because according to reports, Puff Daddy and Cassie's lawyer was in talks about all the allegations and everything. And he offered her an eight-figure settlement so she can keep her mouth closed to silence her. Now, we hood educated, not lame related. If we ain't did nothing wrong, we, psh, come on, let's go to court. Do what you got to do. Prove me wrong. Prove that I did it. But when we know we guilty, oh, we copping, please. Hey, look, uh, yeah, y'all got me. You know what I'm saying? Here it is. Look, let me throw you this eight-figure check. Keep my name good. Don't let everybody know what I done did to you. I'm sorry and all that. She said, nah. Uh-uh. I want 30 million. Yeah, you a billionaire. I want 30 million. Brother Love said, I ain't giving you no 30 million. All the harm, the raping, uh, uh, the prostituting I had you doing, uh, the domestic abuse that I put you through, the mental, uh, emotional abuse I put you through, ain't worth thirty million. And she said, "Okay, cool. Then I'm gonna put it on the I'm gonna put it on the court and let them determine." Now the cold blooded part about this whole thing, this civil suit, is this right here. She asking for thirty million. But at the end of the day, the judge, if it's a bench or the jury, can give her way more than 30 million. Why? Because he a billionaire. Let me predict this for y'all. Brother Love is going to settle out of court. Watch what I tell you. Watch how this thing right here just disappear. He going to settle out of court. He ain't going all the way to court. Now, let's get into the allegations. According to court documents, Cassie is accusing P. Diddy of rape, physical abuse, mentally and emotionally over a decade. Do y'all hear what I just said? A decade. This man has been dogging this woman ever since she was 19 years old until she was 29. Cold-blooded demonstration. But not only that, y'all, it, it just continues to get worse. She said that at her young age, P. Diddy was supplying her with drugs, constantly keeping her drugged up. And will have her get online and look up high profile male prostitutes to have sex with. While she's having sex with these high profile male prostitutes, Brother Love like this with the camera. Watching the whole thing. Masturbating while she having sex with these strangers. And if she didn't do it, he put them things on her. Rotten. Cassie has reported that he was giving her so much drugs and beating her so much that she had to go to the hospital to have an MRI. Cassie is reporting that Diddy was a control freak 
And soon after she signed with him and got with him in a relationship, he just was extremely controlling. Yeah, he bought her all the nice things and all that old type of stuff, but those right there was to control her. Then he signed her to the label and controlled her music. Not only that, this man right here was so controlling that he had access to her medical records before she did. After feeding her large amounts of drugs and beating on her, she had suffered some memory loss and had to go to the hospital to get an MRI. After getting the MRI done, She's waiting on her diagnosis to come and she couldn't understand like why ain't she receiving her diagnosis? Why she come to find out that P. Diddy got access to her medical records before she did. This man right here is controlling and y'all know what, just to be 100, I'm talking about like all his artists and everybody that ever dealt with him on the business side always had something bad to say. Always saying that he was jerking them out their money. He was playing them. And now I'm talking about with everything that's coming out, man, I believe these brothers. I believe these sisters. Because think about it. All of his artists, all of them, can y'all show me or name one of them right now that still got large amounts of money, houses, and things like that? I can't name not one. I'm talking about his artist. She go on to say that he would force her to take these drugs. And if she didn't take them, that he would beat on her. One day she was kicking it with, I guess it was, you know, a, a talent agent or something like that. But she was speaking to a man. She said that P. Diddy came, rushed her, slammed her to the ground, and started kicking her in the face, blood everywhere. Took her in the, in the hotel room, and everybody act like they ain't seen nothing. In another incident, she tried to leave him. When he got real drunk, she tried to get up and leave. He woke up, chased her down in the hotel hallway, throwing a vase at her, hitting her in the face, blacking her eye. And you know what happened? He went straight down there to the hotel lobby and said, hey, look, check it out. I know y'all got that on tape. Let me give you $50,000, brother. Let me get that tape. And you know what that employee did? The one that's probably working for $15 an hour? How you gonna give me that $50,000? We got the tape back there right now. And all that disappeared. But what he would do is he would record her. When she be having sex with these male escorts, he would record her and keep the footage. She, he used to do it on her phone, but somehow her phone was connected to his phone. And so she said she would be deleting this stuff because it made her feel horrible. But then a month later, a couple of weeks later, Diddy would be showing her, forcing her to watch her participate in sex that she didn't want to participate in. It is also being reported that she finally escaped, but she didn't escape because he still had his claws in her. She started dating the brother Kid Cuddy. They in a loving relationship. When Puff found out, Brother Love, P. Diddy, when he found out that she was dating Kid Cuddy, he told her, I'm going to blow his car. You can't date him. I'm going to blow his car. And guess what happened? Kid Cuddy's car got blown up in his driveway. And like I say, this is not something that she is just saying. It's proven fact. Kid Cuddy, he even stamped it and said, yeah, you know what? My car did get blowed up after he threatened us about blowing up my car. Damn. This brother right here is so cold, man. She said that he used to beat on her, beat her so bad that he would have to keep her in the hotel room 
all by herself. The only person can come in there to see her is him until she heal up, till her face heal up, till her body, her body wounds heal up. Man, this brother right here, man. I'm talking about this. Y'all talking about a demon? A de somebody that can do this to a woman? Y'all talking about a demon? And now he want to call himself brother love? Nah, uh-uh. Better like brother hate. That's what your name should be. Brother hate. Because for you to be demonstrating like this with this young woman, this is not something that you just wake up and just do. This is a pattern. This is something that's in you. You a control freak. And it shows, like if y'all remember any of his shows and stuff like that back in the day, like he would be going off like having fits, like a woman just, I'm talking about just going crazy. And the artists, they just be sitting there putting their head down. And I don't see how he ain't got whooped. I don't see how none of his artists ain't put them things on him. Because the way he was talking to them kids, man, I'm talking about, and these brothers from all these ghettos all across America that he's signing and stuff like that, I don't see how he ain't get whooped yet. Possibly because they understand if they put their hands on Puff Daddy, he got some killers. And now we, now that all this is coming out, he blowing up cars or having cars blown up, according to these reports, um... I'm starting to believe what Keefe D talking about. When Keefe D was saying that, hey, yeah, uh, when Puffy was saying, hey, I'll pay y'all a million to kill Tupac. I'm starting to believe that now. I'm talking about, man, when him connecting with all these big time drug dealers and these Southside Compton Crips and stuff like that, I'm starting to believe that now. That this is the type of dude that we dealing with. Like, man, he got this image of, I'm cool, I'm laid back, it's all about love. But in reality, Puff Daddy is a straight demon. Y'all remember hearing about them Puff Daddy parties? And how a lot of rappers back in the day used to be like, hey man, like, hey, I don't know, man, it was, we went to the P. It was some stuff going on up in there, man, that I don't know. This is what they talking about. Because Cassie is saying that when he would have her doing these freak offs, as he called it, according to the reports, freak offs, that he would make her dress up in lingerie sometimes. Sometimes he would make her put on masks and all this old type of stuff. And the, the male prostitutes or the guys that he made her have sex with would have to put on masks and, and, and put on, you know, certain type of costumes and stuff like that. And the whole time he's sitting there in the costume jacking off, recording, taking pictures of the whole thing. Now I kind of understand why you see him in the Joker costume, the Batman costume. He just great with the costumes. Now it's all starting to make sense because that's just a part of his control. That's just a part of him being somebody else instead of brother love who he want all of us to know about. Now, a lot of people are saying, well, hey, hood, educated. How is it that he got sex trafficking? Let me explain to y'all how they hit him with sex trafficking. There's a law in New York called Gender Motivated Violence Law. And what this law does is it embodies anything sexually, uh, uh, it embodies anything that has to do with like sexual battery, rape, and stuff like that. And what happened is this right here. Being that she did not want to have sex with these strange men in all these different cities, and P. Diddy was making her do it, that's how they hit him with the sex trafficking. Now, from my understanding, there's a statute of limitation on a lot of crimes. I don't know about in New York, but I know in the state of Minnesota, any type of rape or sexual crime, there's no statute of limitation on that. So even though it's a civil suit right now, it could possibly turn criminal. Why? Because she is accusing him of taking her state to state. This is sex trafficking. To have sex with men. 
This is sex trafficking. There are men right now doing 900,000 years in the federal penitentiary for sex trafficking. So even though this is civil now, it could possibly turn criminal. And a lot of people might say, you know what? Because this, like I say, this always be my thing right here. I be like, you know, why now? Like, why you ain't been say like, and, and that's just me, y'all. Y'all got to forgive me if, if I don't understand what a person is going through. Because I like to think in my mind, like, what I would do. But I got to understand that everybody is not me. Everybody is not going to speak up. And not only that, though. I mean, like, these men, man, y'all, come on, bro. Y'all riding, bro, when y'all be doing this to these women. You guys got mamas, grandmamas, daughters, sisters, cousins that you wouldn't want somebody to be doing the stuff that you are doing to people. But, but yet and still, you still administrate this pain and misery on somebody, this physical pain on somebody that you wouldn't want to happen to your own daughter. What's wrong with you brothers, man? And so here it is. Like I was just like I was just saying, like, it's hard for me to understand, but at the same time, like, a lot of these times, man, these women be scared out their mind. That's why they don't come forward. Not only that, a lot of these women be waiting and believing in their mind that, okay, well, he's only being bad just this little he's only being bad right now yeah he beat me up right now he's making me do this right now but for the most part he's loving for the most part he takes good care of me for the most part he's a good father to the children but you got to understand some women all that is a part of his manipulation all that is a part of him using his ways to control you and to keep you so that he can keep manipulating and misusing you. Just because a person is good 60% of the time and bad 40% of the time doesn't mean that you have to stay with him. If a person is treating you the way that this man was treating this woman, I don't care how good he is to you. Get out. Get out the way. Leave him alone. And for you low down dirty brothers that be doing this type of stuff to sisters, man, you need to go have your mental examined. Because somewhere there's a mental defect. For you to be sitting up here thinking that, okay, yeah, you know what I'm saying? I'm, I'm, I'm doing all right, man. You know, I beat on that every now and then. I might black her eye. I might make her have sex with these guys and these strange guys over here. But, you know, I bought her bins, though. That doesn't grant you to misuse a human being just because you provide money and material things. If you brothers is out there demonstrating measures like that, man, look, go, hey, go get some help, man. Because something gotta be wrong with you. It's not the woman. She just being a woman. And the only reason why she's probably allowing this stuff to happen because she thinking in her mind, one day he is going to change. One day he is going to love me and only me. One day he is going to stop abusing me but you're going to be waiting listen to me sister you're going to be waiting for the rest of your life if you think that this fool is going to change when you are allowing him to abuse you mentally physically and emotionally when a man start demonstrating these type of measures on a female, on a woman, that tells you something ain't right up here and he needs help. But the cold blooded part about the whole demonstration is this right here. For you to sit there and to allow it when you know deep inside that is wrong. 
you might need some help too. This is hood educated, not lame related. Peace and love and y'all take care of yourself out there. If I said anything that caused you to think, hit that like button and subscribe to the channel if you're not subscribed already. And if you're feeling generous, please make a small donation to the channel. Peace and love.